What I normally like to do when I build the backs of these boxes is come in with a slot cutting bit on the router and offset about a quarter of an inch in and then cut a quarter of an inch slot all the way around the perimeter and then take a piece of this quarter inch birch plywood and just slide it in to the slot and it makes a really nice and really strong connection and it goes together really well. Unfortunately in this project I don't have a piece of quarter inch birch plywood. I thought I had a piece and I guess I could run to Lowe's and buy some but I'm really trying to do this with scrap that I have on hand. So what I do have on hand is a really nice new sheet of half inch uh, plywood just like this but it's going to be big enough to uh, uh, cover this back cavity. What I don't want to do, I don't have any room on, on this side, this face, to just attach it flush because then I wouldn't have room inside the wall cavity. And the other thing that I don't want to do is come in a quarter of an inch and then cut a half inch slot and then you know slide it in like I, I do with the quarter inch plywood because then I'll be giving up this precious interior space. So what I'm going to try, I've never tried this before, I think it's going to work fine, is I'm going to go ahead and cut uh, the rabbit, cut a rabbit around the perimeter, just kind of like we did on the ends here. So if you can picture, once I do that, there'll be a lip all the way around this perimeter, and then I'll cut a piece of the half inch out and lay it in there. So what will happen is I'll have a half inch rabbit all the way around. Piece of plywood will will go in the inside of that. I'll glue it in, then I'll hit it with an 18 gauge nailer. And if I do that, if it works out just right, I won't be giving up any interior space because doing it the old way, I would have given up a uh, half inch anyway. So I'll be giving up the same half inch and I think it'll, it'll do a, another thing, another benefit for me is that it'll allow me to install that piece at, at the very last step and I'll have better access on the inside when I start painting. So I, I think that I think it'll work out fine. If it turns out to be a disaster, I'll just start over and go to Lowe's and do it the way that I'm used to doing it. So let's see what happens. out now that we have our slot cut in the back, our little rabbit. And what we'll be able to do now is when we cut out the backing, it'll just lay right into place and it'll be flush. We'll probably, you know, hit it with some nails on each side and glue it in. I think it's going to work out good. It's going to be real strong too. So this, my friends, is redneck engineering right here. And I think it's going to work out really good. Now that we're drilling uh, pocket holes in this half inch. Don't forget to change your jig over for half inch and uh, change the adjust the collar on your uh, drill bit for half inch and be sure that you're using the uh, one inch screws for half inch. Easy to forget that. shelf pins while we have everything disassembled this would be a good time to do it. I like this little Craig shelf pin jig. Um, depending on where you use your reference points you, you can configure this thing a lot of different ways and it'll dr drill a perfect shelf pin every time. So we'll go ahead and, and drill these out. I'll show you how this works. It's pretty simple. Just uh, put it down in the jig and drill. And what we end up with 
is a perfect shelf pan. So I'll go ahead and run a few more down each side and then we'll do the other side. So there, let's see if I can zoom out. We have uh, some really nice shelf pins. We'll run some more down this side and uh, do the other side and we'll be done with that part. Okay, we got all our pieces dry fit and uh, they're going together really good. So what we can do now is just go ahead and start our final assembly on this. What I'm gonna do is put a little glue in these corners and uh, I'm gonna hit it with a, a nail or an 18 gauge nail. I think I've got a three quarter inch nail loaded up in the nail gun. And uh, once I do both ends, I'll go ahead and just start securing it down with the pocket holes. Hit it with a smidge of glue just for good measure. Slip her in. And get the nail gun. There. That's drawing it up good and tight. Looks good. All right. We're making pretty good time on this project. It's early afternoon, and I've only been through one pack of Red Man, and all this is coming together real nice. So now you can kind of see how we're securing this box together to the face frame. Ooh, that one didn't do good. Have some sanding on that one. Okay. Now we have our frame and our box made. And it looks really good. Have our shelf pins. So what I need to do now is go ahead and cut out the the back that's going to lay down in this slot. So let's go ahead and do that. Check this out. Look here. That is tighter than Dick's hat man. And that's going to work really good. Um, I'm not going to find, you know, fully assemble it right now. Uh, I'm going to paint and all that first. But what I'll do is I'll put a little glue in the, in the corners and then this in the uh, slot in there, glue it in and then hit it with some 18 gauge nails and that's gonna work real good. Now would be a good time to go ahead and sign your work. So come in here and write the, this cabinet, some, I don't know, something like this cabinet was built in August 2012 by Jimbo McGillicuddy or something like that. And that way, one of these days when somebody tears it out, 100 years from now, they will stand in amazement that this was built by hand and it's not People's Republic stuff and uh, that it lasted 50 or 100 years. So anyway, I like to do that. 
probably now let's go ahead and do some sanding and uh, get ready for finish and paint. Check it out. I went ahead and cut some shelves out. Uh, may not actually use all these shelves once I, I get it into place, but this should give you an idea of what this thing's going to look like. And I tell you what, at this point, I don't think I'm going to build a door for it. I think I think it'll serve its purpose and, and look really nice without a door. So I'm just going to proceed as if we're not going to use a door. And if I get it in the wall and think it's not going to work, I'll just build a door and put on it. So now we can go ahead and sand and get ready to paint. Let's talk about how we're going to secure this to the wall. Now, what we don't want to do is just run screws in our face frame into the studs and uh, you know have ugly screws along the face frame. Probably don't want to nail it. Uh, probably don't want to come in here on the sides and run screws in either. So what we're going to do is a technique that I've used before and it works really good. We're going to take this Forstner bit and we're going to bore a hole into the face frame something like that and what's going to happen is down inside that hole we're going to run a screw into the stud then we'll come back in with these little buttons and it'll just hide the hole you'll never know it's there I bought these things at Woodcraft and uh, if you've watched any of the other videos you've seen that I've done this and it works out really good what's going to happen we've got our measurements made we're setting in about seven eighths of an inch on each side and what that does is it puts these buttons exactly on 16 inch centers the framing in the bathroom is on 16 inch centers so we'll just lay this into the wall screw it down it's going to work out real good we're not going to bore this hole all the way through we're going to bore it about the depth of the uh, cutting portion of the bit that's about a little less than a half an inch, so it'll leave us a little more than a quarter of an inch <clears throat> to use to secure uh, our screw to the wall. So now, We'll run our screw into the hole, into the stud, and we'll come back in, put our little button on it. You'll never know it's there, and uh, it's not really going to look like it's hiding anything. It's going to look like it's supposed to be there. So that's, uh, that's what we're going to do on that. 